So last weekend, I woke up early and went to Penn Station, took a train down to Philadelphia, and saw these great um, new Acela units just waiting for clearance to start running someday. Uh, once I got to Philadelphia, we pulled into the station, and then we reversed and headed up the Harrisburg, Main to Lancaster. I got off at Lancaster. A friend picked me up at the station there, and we saw this short um, New York, or excuse me, Norfolk Southern uh, freight train crossing. Two steel cars and a hopper, and two engines, topped and tailed. Uh, we headed to York. Uh, we were on our way to the York train show, which I've never been to. I was helping my friend uh, man his booth. Uh, here's York before it opens. Let's get a view of trains before they open. Uh, here's some vintage uh, European uh, trains that were set up. Yeah, here's our booth with all the shroud. This is a neat uh, display of standard gauge and a view of all the different sizes of tra uh, trains, um, standard train sizes. There's quite a lot of standard gauge as well as, as expected, a lot of three rail O scale. And I was surprised to see this large N scale layout set up in one of the halls. Um, seemed to be a club of one person and he had it all set up and running multi-track mainline uh, N-scale trains, which is cool to see. I apologize for the rustling there. The, um, yeah, the N-scale layout was quite extensive. This is this engine terminal, and um, there were six buildings of of trains for sale, and one of the buildings had this large standard gauge club that had a, a blue comet running, as well as uh, let's see a McKean car in the background there. There were a lot of custom built standard gauge trains on this layout. It was really neat. There's a, a Camelback that we'll see in a second. Let's see the Camelback there, and there were also some. Um, engines that were in the B&O Museum in Baltimore. Uh, here's the McKean car again. A neat looking wind splitter. Yeah, here's the Tom Thumb, uh, early 1830s B&O engine, uh, a ten-wheeler behind it, a galloping goose in the foreground, and this next one is a wood horizontal wood-lagged boiler, uh, the Lafayette, which is also at the B&O Museum. In the background, there's an EM-1, uh, articulated, and um, a bunch of little um, other trains in the foreground. Another, here's a, that blue comet again. This was a really cool layout. It was neat to see. There's a rich art uh, station, uh, which I helped... Uh, Dick Mayer built make some of those many years ago now, um, when I was in San Diego. And here's a neat New Haven Electric and some Penzi Electrics as well. This one's the Choo Choo Barn. They had a mobile uh, layout built in a box truck, and they had some starter sets running, um, some three rail trains, I guess you can commission this to come to your birthday party, it's kind of a cool idea, I've never seen one like this before. After three days it was time to break things down and uh, here we are closing down our booth and uh, a modular layout. Uh, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'll see you again soon.